Well, according to the Montgomery County Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, in a separate incident in the Woodlands, a 35-year-old man was electrocuted due to a lightning strike. Additionally, in the Willis area, emergency officials say two adults and a juvenile were electrocuted by a downed power line. We are told all four are alive. Our Bruce, Br Bryce Newberry, rather, uh, continues our team coverage tonight. Hey, he's joining us now live from the Heights, where today's storm caused even more problems. Bryce? Daniela and Keith Heights Boulevard was devastated by that derecho nearly two weeks ago. There's still so much visible tree damage here that we saw while driving around earlier. And tonight you can see another tree has come down. This is just one of many areas dealing with the aftermath of today's weather outbreak. From rain and heavy winds in Pasadena to street flooding in the Washington Corridor and big chunks of hail in Clear Lake, this round of severe storms tore through Houston as cleanup from the last had just begun. In Kingwood, David Garza fired up his generator. The wind was really uh, blowing quite a bit. He's one of more than 325,000 Centerpoint customers who lost power at the height of the storm Tuesday, hoping his backup will keep his food chilled and aquarium running. We've already gotten two power outages, and due to weather, we don't know what to expect with the forecast of some bad storms. Businesses along Kingwood Drive also got knocked out. Traffic lights went dark. We're just getting used to it, but we get tired of it. it it's frustrating. In the heights, more trees came down. She just heard a big noise. This one toppled across Tabor Street. You can see all green. It just went down. But not until after high winds whipped through, and luckily not into Oscar Albavera's house. My mother was inside, my wife, and my two year old baby was inside, and happy. Good news for that family tonight. Centerpoint Energy tells me the utility has requested out of town help from line workers and vegetation management workers. A total of about 1800 people, all of them with the goal of getting electricity restored for everyone. We're live in the Heights. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Now, screws certainly have been busy the last yeah. few weeks, Bryce. Thank you.